Prescription for health, your heart and you. I'm Dr. Jen Ashton. As you've just heard, heart disease is the rampaging number one killer in America, causing an astonishing one in every four deaths in this country. Add COVID-19 into the mix and the urgency of heart health awareness amplifies. Whether you or someone you love is at risk, everyone should familiarize themselves right now with this crucial and potentially life-saving info on just how heart disease is most often detected, how it's treated, and how those you love can avoid becoming another statistic. I remember one of my doctors said to me, if you could talk to your heart right now, what would you say? And the first thing I said was, why did you give up on me? I was basically a walking time bomb that night. It was just a matter of when the bomb was going to go off. I didn't realize that I had this silent killer in me. I was gonna be a guy in a casket with a six pack. Heart disease, the nation's number one killer, claims one life every 36 seconds. Nearly half of Americans have a heart disease risk factor. The beautiful thing about heart disease, whether you have some of these new unique risk factors, is that 90% of heart disease is completely preventable. The bottom line for the public is know your risk factors. Doctors nationwide are concerned about heart disease seen in patients presenting with one of three different risk categories typical risk, invisible risk, and a new risk from COVID. They said if it wasn't the heart attack that was going to kill me that night, it could have been the diabetes. My blood sugar was 580. Kristen is a typical risk patient, someone with an underlying medical condition that increases their chance of developing heart disease. The top five risk factors for heart disease are high blood pressure. So what is my blood pressure number? Um, am I a diabetic? Um, what is my cholesterol? Obviously, no one should be smoking. And then your family history. I died twice on the table. They had to do manual CPR twice and shock me 15 times. They called a clergy person for me. And I just held her hand. And I just told her I loved her. It really wasn't until about nine days later when they took the intubation tubes out that I understood fully what had happened. Invisible risk patients have no underlying conditions, but risk factors hide in their DNA. Health and fitness expert Bob Harper was one of these patients. Big pull! You may know him as the biggest loser's longtime trainer turned host. I was in my gym working out and the next thing I knew I was waking up in a hospital two days later being told not only did I have a heart attack but I had gone into cardiac arrest and it was the quick thinking of the people in that gym to call 911 and there happened to be a doctor in the gym that day. I was embarrassed. I thought how did this happen to me? doing you're actually programming a game George Garrett has a new risk that doctors are monitoring one fueled by COVID-19 there are some patients who have COVID and they get what we call myocarditis which is inflammation of the heart muscle it is a very small subset of the COVID population but it does happen I've never had any history of heart conditions prior to this didn't have an active infection. My wife was able to visit me and that's the day the atrial fibrillation began. One of the darkest moments of my life was when they took him to shock his heart. I was scared I would never see him again. But doctors say there is hope and it's all about understanding your risk. I'm doing the best I can to move my life forward. I still coach football, I'm still coaching track. I'll more than likely tell my players to pay close attention to their body and listen to it. You can't wait until you're in your 30s to start caring about what happens to your heart. If you feel off, don't ignore it. Go get checked. I am so lucky to be sitting here in my house right now and I realize that our lives can just go in a second. So as you've just seen, it is so important to recognize that you or someone you love may still be at risk even without any of those telltale risk factors. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.